Okay, so do you remember this scary skinny photo of Matthew McConaughey? The Magic Mike star hit an all-time low in body fat when he got down to an astounding 135 pounds for a movie role. He was playing an AIDS patient. And now in a brand new interview with Showbiz Tonight, Matthew's opening up about exactly how he was able to psych himself up to do it and exactly how he rewarded himself once he finished shooting the movie. I can't wait to hear that. With me now from Hollywood, Showbiz Tonight's Nichelle Turner. So Nichelle, whittling yourself down to 135 pounds when you're a man of his size, not for the faint of heart. How did he do it? No, the faint of heart or smart of heart, AJ, you're right. McConaughey really took some extreme measures to lose weight for his starring role in the Dallas Buyers Club, a drama about Ron Woodruff, a real-life Texas electrician who contracted HIV in the 80s through IV drug use. It's gotten him big-time Oscar buzz. Showbiz Tonight was right there last night in New York, where McConaughey was awarded Best Supporting Actor by the New York's Films film critic circle for his role and he shared with us how he lost all that weight under a doctor's close supervision and why getting so skinny was so important to him. Take a look. If I wouldn't have got down to that weight to play that character as truthfully as I could, I would have been embarrassed for myself because my job is to go emulate the life of someone else and that's what I was doing. So it wasn't honestly, Lee, was it difficult? Sure. Did it take a lot of discipline? Sure. But after I decided I was going to do it, I say this all the time, once you run into the inevitable, get relative. Wow, just looking at him there, that that's, picture's amazing. AJ, I can't even imagine denying myself one day, let alone months of being yeah. deprived of all of the things I love to eat. Yeah, pretty amazing. Obviously, he has so much discipline and he's a professional. But what I've really been dying to know is how did he reward himself after he finished shooting the movie? Did he just pig out? Oh, well, this is good, because reward himself, he did. Listen to what he told us about that. And I ate a cheeseburger, first thing. And I doozied it up for over 22 minutes before I touched it. It was in front of me, but I wouldn't touch it until I had it just right. And it was just as good as I hoped it was. Hey, I say good for you, Matthew. It sounds like he enjoyed every bite of that burger. Let me bring in Julie Klausner. She's correspondent with Vulture.com. So, Julie, apparently, listening to Matthew, it took him 22 minutes to dig into that burger. Now, I'm not a hamburger guy, but I would have eaten the fattiest, biggest, juiciest thing in a second. Oh, what about yeah. you? Oh, yeah. No, no question. Absolutely. I don't know if I would have been able to wait 22 minutes. I have some questions about whether or not it got cold. I mean, it's not a freaking souffle either. <laughs> it's fast food, right? 22 minutes seems a little excessive. But, look, you got to do what you got to do. Maybe it's anticipation. Maybe he built it up. Yeah. Well, hopefully the ketchup came right out of the bottle as quickly as he needed it I to. I pray that it did. Yeah, McConaughey, by the way, not the only star who's making big news out of Hollywood today and big confessions about weight loss. Brand new mom, Oscar-winning actress Drew Barrymore, reveals in a new interview that's out today in Good Housekeeping that she's in no rush to lose the baby weight after she gave birth to her daughter, Olive, back in October. Let me read what she says. I'm still working on it, but I'm not worrying about it. We live in a society where everyone's like, look how amazing she looks two weeks out from giving birth. I don't want to be on that hamster wheel. That's hell. I'm never going to have the kind of body that makes me excited about bikini season. I've never had a beach body, but I want to feel like I'm showing up and doing my best. My goal is to be nice to myself, gentle toward myself during this process. It's such a sacred time. Wow, Julie, I listen to that. I read those words. I'm thinking, hooray for Drew. I mean, how terrific of her that she is just being honest, candid, open, and saying what I think millions of moms across the country are cheering her on for right now about not losing the baby weight. Absolutely. I was with her down to the the word sacred, then I kind of lost her, but absolutely. It's a great sentiment. I do think she's a good role model for her daughter, from other for other women who have a hard time losing weight or don't particularly feel like it moments after they've given birth. That said, were we all as blessed as Drew Barrymore with that gene pool, um, I think it would be a little bit easier for us to accept ourselves. Yeah, well, you know, the one thing that I think we've all always loved about Drew Barrymore, not just as a Hollywood star, but as a, as a human being, is she's so human. She really has always transcended what it is to be big Hollywood. She's she's just a, a cool woman that yeah. I think we all want to be friends with. All right, no Julie question. Klausner, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.